everyone, this is Self Made Millennial. I'm Madeline Mann, and today we're talking about how the heck do you stay in touch with your entire professional network and also stay top of mind for them well before you actually have to go and ask them for something. We have a special guest here today named David Gertler, who is a math geek turned master networker and business leader. He combined his unique blend of skills to become the co-founder and CEO of Treble, which is a networking platform focused on building meaningful connections and adding value to the people in your network. At the end, David reveals the key to getting the attention of a CEO or executive that feels way out of your orbit. So let's meet David. Hey, David. So good to have you on Self Made Millennial. Hey, thanks so much, Madeline. I really appreciate being here. Yeah, so I'm so excited to talk to you because you've really built your career and company on networking, making connections, and building relationships. And I just really want to, you know, get back to kind of the Genesis story of how did you even build these skills and grow your network over time? Yeah, sure. Um, so I was an introverted math geek, which a lot of people easily see and some people can't believe. Um, but back many years ago, I found myself unemployed and the phone wasn't ringing. And somebody told me, you just got to network. You got to go out there and meet people. And that for an introvert is, is very unnerving. So I just kind of pushed myself and I set specific goals. I get out there, just meet people. And one of the key insights that I got out of this was, you know, instead of just saying, you know, hi, I'm David, I'm looking for a job. Here's my resume. I would typically get to know people. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what you do and let me understand. And then ironically, uh, or Paradoxically, I would often be in a position to be a matchmaker. So I'd meet somebody on a Tuesday morning and learn what they were all about. And then by Thursday afternoon, I would find somebody else and I'd say, oh, you guys should meet and make all these introductions and got to know hundreds and you know, ultimately thousands of people over the years. And by making these introductions, it created such goodwill that my phone started ringing off the hook and I ended up landing some amazing jobs. So that's kind of my genesis from math geek to super networker. And so with all of these people who you've built up in your network, what are maybe some best practices to stay engaged with all the people over time instead of being that person who just knocks on your door when you suddenly need something? Yeah, I'd say that the, the key to engagement, in my opinion, is to be an advocate. So I get to know people and I, I usually ask them, hey, what do you need? How can I help you? What are you up to these days? And then I just kind of file it away in the back of my head. And as I go out and talk to a lot of different people, I often find these opportunities to make matches. And to me, that's one of the best ways to stay engaged. And by doing that, when I make those phone calls to them, they're really happy to hear from me and they're eager to help me in return. So it's a, it generates a lot of goodwill. You keep track of all these people. You, you think about what they're, what's important to them. Do you keep notes somewhere? Like how do you, how do you make sure to stay organized and, and keep this categorized in your brain? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I have a pretty good memory for certain things and early on I was able to track it all in my head, but then, you know, after hundreds or thousands, um, it became harder. So, you know, I created a software company called Treble, Treble Network. You're able to put, the types of things that you're looking for and share them with your trusted network without spamming them. Uh, mm -hmm. We call it a wish engine. You know, how do I help you? How do I unlock that? And so we developed a system that does that and makes it easy to create real value and unlock value in your professional network. It's amazing. We oftentimes forget to ask for help and oftentimes we don't even know where to go to ask for help. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm curious to know, what strategies you have or, or how you think people should approach asking for help because it feels so uncomfortable for a lot of us to kind of say, Hey, could you do this for me? Especially if maybe the relationship has gone a little bit cold and haven't talked in a while. I usually advocate three, three concepts, right? Positive, specific, and awareness. So on the positive side, I try to build positive relationships with people so that when I make that phone call and I ask the question, they're more likely to help me in return. The second thing I usually advocate is specificity. Too often I get people saying, I'm looking for a job. And I say, okay, um, you know, in what? And I usually tell them, don't say everything you can possibly do. But I can point you confidently in the right direction if you say, I'm looking for accounting in a small, company uh, in the DC area, right? So if there's a geography, an industry size, and a, a field, 
And even if it's not perfect, as long as I get you connected to the right person, they can help get you, you know, I usually refer to it as I get you one hop closer to the ideal job or the ideal person. And the third is awareness. Like, how do you break through? We're all so busy. And again, it comes back to that idea of if I help somebody and I, they know that I'm specifically trying to advocate for them and break through um, and help them with specific things, they're much more likely to ask me, oh, what are you looking for? Uh, one thing that I have started to do is when I'm asking for an introduction through someone, I'll send them like a quick couple sentences that they can then just copy and paste. I'm like, here's Madeline, she does this and this. Because I realize even though I, I might tell someone, hey, like here's what I'm about, they might not know exactly how to kind of define who I am and, and what I'm looking for. So has that, do you find like that that's helpful to kind of give anyone tools to help them help you? Exactly, oh absolutely. You know, it's funny, very often when I don't fully understand the field that they're in, um, I need that help. And when you help people, it isn't, yeah, it isn't necessarily always professional. This is something that I think a lot of people who are maybe more junior in their careers, they think, I have nothing to offer someone who is like you, the CEO and founder of a company. What could I ever offer you when you have such a bigger network? Yeah, absolutely right. You know, it's, it's often the case that I, when I speak to folks that are more junior in their career, they feel exactly what you're describing. Oh, I don't have that big a network. I don't, I can't add value to people. And that's just wrong. Uh, we had a success story recently at Treble where somebody said uh, their child was on the autistic spectrum. They were looking for a coach. And one of the other people in the network said, hey, we're using this wonderful coach. Let me introduce you to that person. So it kind of blurs the line between you know, what's professional and what's more personal, but it's all good. Uh, and generating that kind of goodwill is such an important aspect. It's really the, the coin of the realm for networking. Got it. And I, I want to wrap this up with a final question. So, you know, this is the Selfway Millennial channel. So a lot of people watching this are kind of like uh, early to mid career at this point. And I'm curious if you have any good tips on how people can approach someone maybe like you, who's a CEO of a company, who's maybe a bit out of their orbit. What tips would you say about if they want to network with you, how do they portray themselves? How do they make sure that they're, you know, don't get caught up in the noise? You know, the most important thing when people try to approach me is the sincerity. Um, if somebody can show me that they genuinely want to build a relationship as opposed to they just want to connect with me or they just want to sell me something. And I'm very open to helping people. But again, if they come to me with, you know, hey, David, I noticed that you transitioned from, you know, techie to exec. And I'm going through a similar challenge in my career right now. I've been a tech for 15 years. And now I'm thinking about moving to management. Would you have 15 or 20 minutes to talk, you know, grab a coffee or something like that? Absolutely. Because now I get what they're trying to do. Uh, mm -hmm. But if they just want to randomly connect with me because down the road, you know, they might want to, you know, tap into my network, then that's not really a value. Got it. Okay. So even though in your example, that person was actually asking you for something, they weren't actually necessarily adding value to you, but since they did it in a way that they read your profile, they kind of maybe did some research on you and they showed this common connection. It just showed that they're not just, this is not like a blasting out to, to random requests. They specifically targeted you. So for the millennials out there, I would say, don't be afraid. Um, don't, um, don't just do the form letter, do a little bit of the homework, reach out to the people and try to build a relationship as opposed to just simply collecting a connection. Absolutely. Well, David, thank you so much for taking the time to visit us today. You are exceptional. And, uh, where can we all find you? Oh, so, um, I'm in the DC area, uh, physically and online. Uh, if you go to treblenetwork.com, that's the uh, website for treble. Um, if anybody sees this video and wants to subscribe to, we have a free version, a premium and an ultra, uh, we'll set up a special promo code just for your, uh, uh viewers, Madeline. And thank you so much. It was a joy sharing my passion with you and seeing your passion as well on these kind of uh, opportunities to help people just genuinely help people. Uh, so thank you for much. It's been an honor for me. Totally. Awesome. Well, thank you. And Wi-Fi high five. Woo. <laughs>